Hey everybody, how you doing? Thank you for tuning into a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm just going to pretty much show you how you could beat the drift event on Airport Terminal D on Ace using an automatic transmission. So the best car for it is if the Lamborghini Murcielago LB640 paired with the best parts ever, right? <laughs> and it's going to be score breaker with uh, all those attachments. And this is maxed out completely. I went to the wrong spot there, but if you click on that here... Uh, slippery is 16, hothead is uh, a 10, 10%. So max that all out <clears throat> and you'll be solid. And a lot of people say, hey, you, you have to use manual. Manual is the best way to do it on drift. And it, it certainly is fun, but you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. It's Keep your car in automatic. You can do it with any car, but I will argue that the Murcielago uh, is by far the best drift car ever. <laughs> it's just so awesome. And I got me a custom livery on it, It's which is mine. I made it myself. So, anyways, I'm going to show you in this track how I do it. And uh, just kind of pay a little close attention if you want to learn a little bit on how to do some drift events. And this, you can do it on any type of track. It all works with every track. This is my personal favorite. So what do you do is uh, instantly get some speed up going. And then as you're drifting... If you look at the bottom left there, it's in automatic, and I try to keep it in third gear, and then I do that by feathering the throttle, as you can see here. And, and I, it, the way, the reason for doing that is, uh, if you are, let's just say, not getting enough speed, or if you got too much speed going, without using the brakes, you just let off the gas, and as you can see, the car will just like slide its way through. And if you pair that with feathering, and just giving it a little bit of gas every now and again. Um, it just it'll do a lot more sliding and it just it's so much easier to control uh, now if you did it in manual um, you're probably gonna be third gear and a lot of people have it in like third gear some some cars go to second gear and uh, you're just redlining the whole time pretty much uh, with, with automatic luckily you have the uh, uh, <laughs> what's the, the the cushion I guess you could say to you know drop it down in third gear like bare minimum and like here's what i'm talking about where if you feather it and just let it let it slide and don't hit any brakes it just works out so fantastic uh this wasn't my best run it definitely wasn't i actually uh i think i was like twenty thousand points under my record <laughs> but this is just a, a one take deal but take advantage of it and then definitely go very wide too and then if you start coming close to the walls that's one thing you gotta watch is the walls and how fast you're going because uh, then you can just kinda fix it before it becomes a problem like here I like to go in and then out and then through here this is, where I, this is like the only time I really hit brakes is these little tight corners which I could definitely uh, do better on later on I could fix that uh, this one it should be a, a one line deal I should you should be able to carry it all the way to this turn right here but I can't seem to figure that spot out yet but there we go look at that 739,000 points definitely not my record but uh that is pretty much how you do it you can do it with any car if you'd like to see me drift with other vehicles let me know which one down below and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave two big thumbs up down below subscribe if you guys are new we'll see you in the next one goodbye